Hey everybody, it is Lynn here from A Bit of Birdsong. I am hoping not to have to edit this video. I've worked so many hours recently. I worked 55 hours last week. That after coming home from a wonderful beach trip, we had such an amazing time. I do not regret working, working that many hours because I know I'm gonna love having the hours after being off for a week. Uh, but I just haven't had time to get on here and show you some of the things that I wanted to show you. So I'm hoping that I can quickly, quickly edit this video or maybe not edit it at all. Anyway, so Jason and I collected a lot of shells. We got all kinds of shells, maybe things that most people would not even want. He thought the oyster shells were fun because they looked like feet. I like to get shells that have holes in them so that I can make things when I come home. I wanted to show you the little beach journal that I made. If I can, yeah, there we go. I made a fabric envelope. I love this. And this was just some pretty blue fabric that I had. And a button here, a button here. I tied that with heavy um, hemp cord. You know, I love to use the hemp cord for binding books and everything. Just looped it through this button with a shank. I think these are a couple of antique buttons actually. Tied it and put a little drop of glue so that won't come untied. And put another piece of hemp cord and tied one of these pretty little shells so that I can wrap that around once and keep this closed. But let's look at the beach journal. Uh, a couple more seashells here and some little uh, beads shaped like hearts. I had several um, f f pictures, photos, images, whatever, of beach, like ladies at the beach or whatever. And they're all vintage looking. They're really pretty. And I've been wondering how can I use those? So I finally decided to pull them all out and put them in here. This is a small journal. <laughs> Let's see, it's like four by six. I don't even have to measure it. Uh, you can kind of tell the size by looking at, at the size of it in my hands. Uh, this is not necessarily beachy, except that I did have a messy, saltwatery bun most of the time I was at the beach. My hair was just twisted up and I put a stick in it. There's a little seashell here with a bulb pen. And what I did was just make a few notes so that I can remember the beach. I had actually started with a, um, a pack. I have about five of these that I'm gonna hopefully list for my August pen pal, even though August is almost over. Um, Jay, I've got one for you that I need to send, uh, but it had a book page in it, and I love to cut out words. I love the way words lead us into stories and thoughts. Uh, when I first started this journal, I wasn't planning to make it a beach journal. I was planning to just use the paper and the fabric in the pack. But then, once I got started, uh, I thought, you know, this would be a really, a really pretty place to write down some of my beach memories. So, I pulled out those old pictures. I see something that I want to take care of here. Pulled out those old pictures and... Um, started writing about the beach and the words I, I had cut out just some random words from the page before I started to make it a beachy journal and somehow they they seemed to fit in an odd sort of way the words seemed to fit now I did have a couple of phrases that I decided to just glue over because they were they were way too abstract they didn't fit at all so let's look at this oops um, I've got the stitching around the edge, same stitching on this envelope. It's 41 on the Brother Runway. And if we just, there we go. So you can see these pretty old images. I've got our destination and the dates. This says only a little. I did sketch in, well, these are stamps, I think. I did sketch throughout some little beachy shapes like ocean creatures or whatever. And I put the old pictures in, punched out some circles from some um, scrapbook paper that I wanted to use up and glued those, sort of, you know, staggered those along the pages. 
gluing one on each side. There's a pretty wax seal and then just a pretty piece of thread or a yarn hanging under there. There's a little starfish and a shell. I used uh, some fine line markers or pens to write throughout here and just stayed with the color theme of blue. There's some pretty um, purple and some pretty green in here. It just really looks like the ocean. And along the edge of these pages, I had used a stencil and I did just a very messy job. I laid this down. Uh, I had a container of, let me see if I can find it. I had a container of this Glimmer Mist. Uh, I don't even know the color. Delphinium, I love this, but the lid had clogged up and it wasn't really spraying and there wasn't a lot left in the bottle. So I just took a brush and brushed along the stencil. See how messy it is? It's almost like the beach. It reminds me of the beach. It's like the waves rolling in and the sand. This of course is a stamp that I have. You've probably seen it before. Uh, it's sitting around here somewhere. I just don't see it at the moment, but I do love this stamp. And another old image. I took some of the fabric that was left over and made little, uh, you know, little ruffles along the pages. That's a tried and true junk journal trim for pages. A lot of people use that and I just use it almost every time. So that is the end of that. I just jotted down a few notes like what we had for dinner, a couple of the things that we did. And I think what I'm also gonna do is send my favorite beach pictures to my computer. I've talked about that before and uh, put them in collages in this uh, photo editing program that I use. So I will get nine to a page and they'll end up being like three and a half by five pictures. And I will put all of those in here. So that's my little beach journal with the envelope. And I love the way this turned out. I'm gonna be doing some cleaning out in the workshop. Uh, I, I'm just in the mood to, to get rid of some stuff again. I wanna be able to come out here and have room to use what I absolutely love, especially since I've been so busy. So I will be back. I promise I'll be back. I'm sorry it was such a long delay between the last video and this one. Uh, it's, it's just been very busy. And I'm still loving my job. I love my, my channel. I'm still totally into art and junk journals. I'm here and I will be back soon, I promise. Okay, bye for now.